UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. Can you really put a price on this amount of awesome? It's almost overwhelming. This far and away beats the, the Asian disco umbrella we sold yesterday. Sorting through the University of Washington's refuse may not sound like a dream job, but for these guys, every day is an adventure. Welcome to UW Surplus, where surplus and unwanted property from hundreds of university departments get a second chance. Some assembly required. Around 50,000 items move through UW Surplus every year, about half of which make it to the Surplus store, for sale to university departments, government and nonprofit organizations, and to the general public. We probably sell about 50% of the items that are surplus, and then we probably recycle about 45% of those items, and only about 5% are going to landfill. Sometimes we go back and forth about oh, should that really be recycled or, or dumpstered? And we, we all have stories of picking things out of a recycle bin or a dumpster bin and sort of saying, this is my challenge for the week. I'm going to find a buyer for this. Items come in from hundreds of university departments, meaning they're as varied as they are unusual. I have sold two airplanes. Um, I've sold boats. We sell cars and then your typical office furniture and equipment that we get all the time. Yes, I mean, most recently and strangely, uh, I picked out a, a box of nothing but right women's shoes for the right foot. Why they were only right shoes, I have no idea. It was very strange. And someone came in and, and bought all of those right shoes. I, no, I would love to know what he's going to do with them, but, but they found a home and they, and they didn't have to get thrown away. The store is packed wall to wall with interesting and unusual finds, but the real action happens on the auction block. 25, 25, 25, now 50. So 25, now 50, and 25, look over 50. 50, now 75, 75, now 100. Six to eight times a year, UW Surplus holds a live public auction. Usually it's between 90 and, and 115 lots. Sold $125 to bidder number. Three, five, zero. A lot of large items, especially medical equipment, um, dental equipment, uh, pallets of laptops. Those are the things that we will put into the auction. Sold $75. So I was thinking for the coats, $30. To better market the university's old, sometimes antique items, UW Surplus is taking a thoroughly modern approach. We also started um, using kind of social media, set up a Twitter account. Now we're moving to Facebook. And a lot of times we found buyers specifically because we've put something on Twitter and someone has retweeted us and it finds its way to somebody who's, who's looking and they contact us, which is uh, the best free advertising you can have. I think the key for that is to catch people off guard with humor and it's hard to interest someone in you know a pile of cinder blocks, but uh, there, there's always a way. Um, even if it's just to get people to look at something because there's a funny tagline with it, uh, it starts people talking and people like to share things that make them laugh. <laughs> the university is not getting rich on its unwanted surplus items, but the surplus program is self-sustaining, meaning the university doesn't wind up paying hefty disposal fees. And at the same time, it's salvaging untold treasures for the next lucky bargain hunter. And it's probably optimistic of us to think we could sell swimming pool dividers in November in Seattle, but there's a buyer out there and we'll find that person. <laughs>